Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you another one of my live matches. Uh, this is going to be actually Ninetales uh, GX versus Sylveon GX, as you can see in the left side, my boy Steven, uh, Xerox on YouTube. Um, very great. One of my one of my one of my best friends as far as Pokemon goes. Um, a moderator on my Twitch Twitch, my YouTube chat and live streams and stuff like that. But uh, he's playing Sylveon today. Kind of built the list together. We're still working on it. Sylveon is one of those decks that you just keep teching in for the format, you know, Sylveon is always good to change because you can just play whatever you want in it as for the most part, as long as you have your 4-3 line of Sylveons, at the very least, you're pretty much good. And I'm playing Ninetales GX, this is the same list that you see on the channel all the time, as you can see I had him one mulligan and now Steven actually has his EVs <laughs> with his swiftness, you see how, that was a slick move, he just dropped both EVs at once, <laughs> but I have a point on lead, I believe uh, Steven's going first this game. Yeah, he's going first this game. We already did all the coin flips. We played a couple games before this, but uh, they were both one-sided. Like either I lost first or he lost first. Uh, so this is a, this is the best game I could salvage out of like 40 minutes of content after doing the 1.5 speed up. So it was almost like an hour long of recording. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm beaconing, I believe. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and you and just turn one beacon. Not much else I could do that turn. He's going to go... Oh, he can't He can't evolve. I remember this being hilarious to me. Because um, he's going to go ahead and... I told him he can just go ahead and field blower. And uh, then go ahead and attach energy. But he decided against me. And he was like, no, man. I got to be Spartan Honor. <laughs> or, you know, the, the other thing cool kids say. But um, he just go ahead and pass. He attaches an energy and pass. I have... My things. He's also he's also playing Team Flare Gun, so I don't have my energy anymore, which is good. It's not a big deal because I have Aqua Patch. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve to Nine Tails there. Got my beautiful Hyper Rare, my one, one of my only ones, Maximum Rarity. You guys keep that. In mind. I know everybody gave me uh, nonsense in the last time I did a, my talk about Maximum Rarity, where I didn't have any secret Aqua Patch. Well, guess what, guys? Now I do. But now everyone's gonna say like, where are your secret DCEs and where is your two other Hyper Rare Nine Tails? Well, those, not here yet. It's coming. Where's your Hyper Rare Lele? It's not. It's not here yet. Not here yet. It's coming in time. But, uh... <laughs> and drop Lele here. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a Hex. I don't want him to do any energy evolution nonsense. So, um, I'm probably going to drop Hex to end my turn. Um, let's see if I have any attachments to go for this turn. I will... Sycamore. Oh, no, never mind. I'm just, gonna, just getting the Hex so I can Sycamore. Which is fine. I keep it in the discard pile. It's easier to get. Uh, while we have Seeker, might as well abuse it. There's my DC, so I can actually attack now and hit for 50 because nothing's... Yeah, I can't hit for 80 on anything because there's, they're not GXs. But uh, I can hit the active for 80 if he was a Sylveon and then the bench for 50 because it only works in the active. So I'm going to keep in mind. Uh, field blower away my choice ban. He just keeps getting rid of my stuff, as you can see, doing what Sylveon does best. And um, what did he do? He Oh, he quick drew. That's what happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and Aqua Patch, though. He's Sylveon the quick draw. Apparently, he, he doesn't have an energy or a way to evolve into Sylveon yet, which kind of sucks, but... That's not, I mean, I'll take it. I'll play Trainer's Mail here. And guess I'll grab Kakui. There was like three Sycamores there. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was kind of wild. But I'll just grab my Kakui while I can. <clears throat> Kakui is going to be really, really important in this matchup because Choice Ban, uh, Blizzard Edge plus Choice Ban plus Kakui knocks out a Sylveon from full. So it's good to have that ready at any given time. And of course, I probably got even more Sycamores there. I was just showing them that time. But I failed that one. I didn't want those Sycamores right away. Probably because I have what I had. Oh, excuse me. Well, because I have one on hand in hand already. I'm going to Ultra Ball away, grab another Nine Tails, and uh, Ultra Ball away, Ultra Ball and Kakui. <clears throat> so now I have a Nine Tails ready in the bench. Not really ready, it only has one Aqua Patch here. All I need to do is attack to the active. Um, attach to the active, I mean. And uh, I can retreat. Because it's a one retreat cost, which is another thing. Like, there's a lot of things I've been considering doing in this deck. I did play Sycamore there, by the way, guys, and that is uh kind of taking out Manaphy. But at the same time, Manaphy is so clutch for the for your Glaceon. But so a lot of the times, I just barely ever play Manaphy unless I absolutely need that free retreat in the game. So I treat Manaphy kind of like a floatstone, but as a thing that can give up prizes. That's what I've been doing lately. Because I I like Choice Band attached to Glaceon. That's a huge one. I really really like having because being able to hit for um. Crystal Ray for 100 is kind of nice. Um, but let's see what I'm going to do here. I think I'm trying to consider a way to attack this turn because I want to knock out that EV before it becomes a Sylveon. So I attach to the active here because I did Aqua Patch earlier in the turn. And let me see. Choice Band to the bench. 
Uh, man, if you down, rescue stretcher, probably get my shaman that I discarded earlier. Yep. And then I'm going to drop my shaman, see if I can get myself an aqua patch, because now I have free retreat on my nine tails, which is handy. And I did get the aqua patch. So that ended up working out for me very nicely. Got the, got the good draws there. And I can just switch here and definitely knock out the active EV before it becomes a Sylveon with energy, trying to go ahead and, you know, um, <laughs> take that, take care of that before that actually becomes an issue. But he got an energy now, so he's going to go ahead and um, evolve into Sylveon. So now the game begins. But if I get a, let's say I top deck a DCE and I have a Seeker and if I have a Seeker in hand, I just get a knockout here for game pretty much. Let's see if he has another Eevee in hand. I don't think he does, but he's going to go and play. Um, and okay, he's going to get rid of one of my energies from the looks of it because like, you know, it's kind of a threat. Which means I'd probably have to set up the bench with Aqua Patches and stuff. That'll probably be my better play now. But I have to get a Choice Band as well. I do play three in the deck, but um, it's not enough, you know. You want more of those choice bands, but let's see what happens here. I don't remember. <laughs> I recorded this game like a couple weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago. But he went and go. Ahead, he went ahead and played his uh, magical ribbon. It looks like he got a silent lab and a crushing hammer as well. I don't see the other card that he got. I'm gonna go ahead and play secret man. I had the secret, so all I was missing was the DC. I'm gonna grab Kakui. I think I'm just going for it. I'm gonna see if I can get the right cards to attach to attack with the bench. And it looks. Did I get it? Let's see if I got it. Because I really didn't have much else to do. It looks like I didn't get it. But I can hit for 100 here because I hit for 50 with the, um, with the whatever, the first attack. And then uh, it increased to 80 because it is an attack uh, with damage. So um, if it attacks active, it hits for 80 plus 20, which is from the Kakui. So it does hit for 100. So he's forced to play a max potion here or risk being knocked out next turn. Because I could either Kakui again or just grab an energy and Blizzard Edge. But he looks like he got an EV evolved into Sylveon, so more Sylveon shenanigans. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Um, but he's going to Lysander out the Shaman. He can't attach a DCE this turn, so he can't actually get a, a knockout here. But he does play Silent Lab, which means I don't have any free retreat, which is fine. I actually don't mind discarding my energy uh, from from retreating Sylveon because it keeps in the discard pile for aqua patches and I got a thing on my phone so please ignore that and let's see he's playing magical ribbon here just getting his stuff set up that's what I really like Ninetales right now because Ninetales I feel like is good against Sylveon and Garbodor which I feel like are two very terrifying decks you can also deal with Coco to an extent especially if you bump their stadiums enough um, and you have like a choice band you can Oko the Cocos uh, and even if you get rid of their stadium, get rid of their, and if you get rid of their stadiums, have Choice Band and Kakui, you Oko them even through a belt, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to attach a DCE, which kind of sucks. Let's see if I Sky Return this turn. Because that could be a play I do. And it looks like I don't. looks like I just discard it because I feel like I can get a knockout this turn, maybe. Is that what I'm doing? I already played Kakui this turn, so all I'm missing now is a, yeah, look, okay, so I, I had the knockout. I guess I just didn't see it. Oh, no, because I was already hitting for 100. Never mind, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, I was already hitting for 100, so I just hit for another 100, and I got the knockout. And he's gonna go ahead with that crushing hammer. Now, obviously, this is like a this is like an older version of the deck. I don't think the newer versions play crushing hammer nowadays, but we'll see. Um, it looks like he touched a DCE, so he's ready to start doing damage if he's if his hand feels set up. He's gonna seek you here, uh, grabbing team flare grunt. Is he gonna play it though? I guess so. I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah, he's on Team Flare Grunt. All my energies are gone. He's just digging through to see how many Aqua Patches I played and stuff like that. I still have a Nine Tails with one energy on the bench. Uh, Shaman, Shaman, Manaphy, and Lele, all those liabilities is chilling on the bench as well, which is not great. Um, let's see if he gets another Eevee down. He might have one, maybe he doesn't. He's going to go ahead and attack me though, so very wind to do 60 plus 50. So we're all good there. I really hope that this lines up, though. I know there's been a lot of syncing issues with this stuff, but I did render the video first. I think I figured it out. I think I got the science behind it. Um, I'm going to play Ultra Ball here, get rid of my nine tails and my Vulpix in my hand, because I don't think I'm going to be needing two of them, or three of them on the bench. The, having the two is just fine. Even though this one's a lot, this one in the active might be knocked out here soon, um, I don't have Free Retreat anymore because of Manaphy, uh, because of Silent Lab, so I had to try to get a, a Rough Seas as well. And let's see, what did I get? I think I just whiffed it. Maybe I was just looking through the deck before I played like a Sycamore or something. Who knows? Um, let's see. 
Touch the DCE, GX attack, so I give him all my damage, so there we go. Uh, so now he can't 2 hit KO me, I get to fully heal myself. He takes the 110 that he did to me in return, which means if he doesn't max potion here, I kind of might have game with a single energy attachment, but he does max potion, he does lose all of his energies to max potion. But now I don't have game yet, so that worked out for him. He can Magical Ribbon here still, still soon, as, uh, as well, I mean. And he can E-Hammer me if he really wants to. But instead, he chooses the Ultra Ball. That way, he can uh, get an EV down. Because he definitely needs to have more Pokemon down in case I um, in case I do pull off the play. Manual Attach and Kikui. He he knows that's a, that's a threat in the back of his mind. So he's trying to make sure he doesn't lose the game by making sure he always has a Pokemon down just in case. And he's in a Magical Ribbon. Um, so he grab his three cards that he needs. Probably get two puzzles at this point, maybe. I'm just sitting here waiting, waiting patiently, trying to figure out what he wants to do. But uh, let me know. I know that a lot of you guys have been really enjoying the the uh, live matches. A lot of you guys don't watch as many live matches as you do the um, the other matches. But I do just Kakui here. I did pull off the play, hit for 210 pretty much. I don't think that's game though. I think I have one more prize up after that, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I do have one more prize left after that, but I did get it off. I hit for 210 with Blizzard Edge, getting rid of a DCE, because you can get rid of... As long as you get rid of two energies somehow, you're fine. And that was my way of getting rid of two energies. Um, he's going to get Field Blower as well. Probably to turn off the Silent Lab uh, and get rid of the Choice Band. That way he can actually Energy Evolve this turn. Uh, but if I get another DCE and another Seeker, <laughs> I just knock him out for game. Yeah, this matchup does not seem to be in Sylveon's favor from the looks of it because if they have all their right item cards, you you they're kind of you're kind of playing from the back because they have a constant recursion. So energy disruption doesn't mean as much. The only thing you can do is continuously Lysander, but since everything on the field right now has a one retreat cost, I think Manaphy also has one retreat cost. I don't remember off the top of my head, but everything does. So it's not even that big a big of a deal to just attach, retreat, Aqua Patch, DCEs, Choice Bands, things like that. Excuse me, no, I had a yawn there, but he did whip that crushing hammer, which is not great for him. So he's going to magic ribbon here and hopefully, and just, just hope that I can't pull off the play next turn. I'm not too sure if I can myself. I don't remember. Uh, but he's just deciding on a couple of cards, probably max potion so that he can actually get away with surviving this upcoming turn. I already used my Z move, my GX attack, if you will. Um, his GX attack doesn't really do much because it's just one stage attacker. Nothing really has a lot of energies on it. Um, let's see what I can do. Um, yeah, he's, I just attack here. I can't do anything else. But that sets him up for next turn because all I need once again is an energy. He's three for three as far as moving hammers go. So that's really unfortunate for Steven's part. Because those hammers are kind of important because they really do slow me down if he did land them. He's on a Lysander here though. He might just plea, maybe. Put all those energies back in my hand. Uh, or no, he just knocks me out, gets a prize. Um... He got rid of my Silent Lab, so that's a, that's just game right there, because I can just Blizzard Edge. He's all, he, he lost 50 HP, uh, which means he's only at 150 left, and I hit for 160 with that. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him for game. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I do have another one with uh, Steven recorded. It's Umbreon versus uh, Lurantis, the new, with the new promo Lurantis, and uh, Umbreon with Evolutions and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that video. Uh, it's definitely That one was a way more intense match. I also have one with John where we played Garbodor versus Umbreon as well. So I might upload that soon. I just have to make sure that I can fix the quality in it because the quality is kind of weird for some reason. But uh, hey, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all that good jazz. Let me know what decks you want to see me play IRL and I could actually pull that off because I can just build them real quick. Um, and you want to see some matchups with uh, some specific decks, I can probably get Steven in town. Not for another couple months. I have other friends I can play though. Uh, for the time being because steven's actually out doing jump core stuff so good luck to you steven uh have fun have fun doing the jump core uh kind of jealous myself i missed doing jump core back in the day but drop a like subscribe share all the good jazz and i will see you guys next time peace